everybody, Dr. Leo Crowley, talk to be podiatry. I got my gloves on, but I just realized I just touched everything. I came out of the bathroom, I touched the sink, I touched 20 patients. Are you okay with me touching your foot? Yeah, okay. that's fine. I'm just kidding, I did not touch everything. Um, we're trying to be super careful. We're at day like six, I think, with this thing. So we're trying to be funny, but I guess it's not that funny anymore because it's getting more serious every day. So I hope everyone health is out is healthy out there. And I hope you guys are um, enjoying these videos. We're trying to make some informative videos and some really cool videos. And this one I think you're gonna really like if it's what I think it is. Take a look at this. This patient came in and she has had nail surgery. She had the entire toenail removed. How long ago was that when that was removed? Four years ago, four five years ago. Four years ago, my epi's really taken effect on that toe, look at that. Wow. Um, so this is the effect of epinephrine, by the way. And she, you're getting a pretty profound effect of that. Wiggle your toe. Okay. Um, do you have, do your toes get really cold? They do. I guess do you, has anyone ever told you you had rain nods? Like, did you notice when you lived up in Chicago, they would get freezing cold and hurt? You know what? No. Ever since I, I actually had bariatric surgery, okay. I lost 100 pounds. Oh, ever wow. since I've done that, my hands and feet stay frozen. Oh, they did? Ever, okay. After that. So she's getting a profound effect of this epi right here. And before she leaves, I'm going to make sure that it comes back. So what we do when we see this in surgery after a surgical case, we have the patient put it in a dependent position where it hangs down. All the blood rushes there. Gravity helps pull the, the blood there. But she's going to be walking anyway, and she's going to go outside. And it's almost 90 degrees outside. And that alone is going to make the, the, the blood vessels dilate. So she'll get vasodilation of this, and that the circulation should come back, I hope. If not, bring your toe in with you next visit. That would be an awesome off. video. Okay. Whole toe Another off. great video. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put a tourniquet on this. Actually, let me, before I do this, let me show you something. So right here, it's almost tough to see. Can you see a Paulino? Oh, yeah. The, oh, you can. So here up close. From when, when I look at this, when she came in and presented to me, I had to do a double take and look. And I put my um, readers on. These are actually reader, reading glasses to look. And I said, you know, are there spicules in there? So... This patient, I won't tell you her name unless she wants her name on there, but she um, works for a plastic surgeon. She told me she was taking a freer elevator. That's that little probe that we stick in there. And she's been probing this. And where did she learn how to do this? From our Instagram videos, from our YouTube videos. So we take our YouTube videos, we put the clips on our Instagram page. And she was studying how we did it. And she was probing her toe herself, but it didn't work. No, I so, do it a lot. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to probe it and see if we get something good out of this, okay? So let's get this wrapped around here nice and tight. I know the epi's already working, so we're not going to have to worry about too much blood flow anyway here, okay? Let's get this out I'm trying to get epi through my hands okay. set really bad. Oh, do they really? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. And we're using 1 to 200. Well, we mix it. So we mix it with plain, so it's 1 to 200. Okay. The, the funny thing is the big toe where I injected it didn't get that big of an effect. So, okay, let's see here. You got a good picture of it? I'm looking at, yeah. I'm looking over Paulina's shoulder, <laughs> over her hands. Very cool. Okay, let's see what you got. And you're okay sitting up, right? Uh -huh. Doesn't bother you. No, you watch all kind of plastic surgery stuff, so right? So that's actually the tool that you have in your hand. We use that when we do rhinos. And oh, we really? And a hammer to break oh. your nose with that. Oh my God. Very cool, all I right. So what I'm doing right here is I'm freeing this piece of nail up right here, or what we think is a nail. That's what it looks like. And I'm actually following the contour of this, I'm just kind of going at like, what do I see here? So I'm gonna see if there's actually anything under here. This is odd because I'm just kind of, I'm gonna go underneath right now and free up what I can. And I'm freeing something, yeah, this is it right there. When was the last time you tried to take something out yourself? Two weeks ago. Okay, so I'm doing this by feel, and I can feel, yeah, I'm down there pretty good right there. So we're gonna do this side now, and we're gonna free this up. This one, I can see something. There's an obvious piece right there, and I'm gonna go over the top of it. And again, this is by feel. You don't get anything in the middle of your toe, right? No. Okay, so again, I'm, this is really by feel. I am looking at the camera too a little bit to see if I see anything in there that's sticking out too, but. I, it's actually easier. It, I could actually close my eyes and it would be easier because I could feel everything right here. Mm -hmm. And right now I feel the, the bottom of this. 
Okay. Now, this will be the super cool part. And this is where we're going to take out these nail spicules. Let's do the one that doesn't totally look like a nail spicule, but we're not sure. And that's this right here. Let's see what this is. So I'm going to carefully go under here and slide it. And I'm going to clamp around. And you can see I'm aiming it laterally so I can get a good piece here. And I'm on it. And I'm just going to pull what's here. And we're going to see what wants to come out. Wow. Look at this. Whoa. Ay, Corona. Yes. Look at that. That is unreal. Wow. That's a pretty good job. See, right? when I do this at home, there's blood everywhere. It's a disaster. So. That is amazing. Look at that. Very cool. Let me put it back in and do it again. <laughs> what do you think? No? All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. So we got one piece now. Let's see what's on the other side. So when you do it, it bleeds all over the place. Oh my yeah. God, it's everywhere. Yes, yeah, so we have that piece. So I'm going to feel right there. I can already feel that it's there's not that much there. But that could have been from digging at it. Let's get this piece now. Okay, now we're gonna do this, and we're gonna, I'm grabbed onto this, so let's see. Boy, I'm slowly doing it, because it wants to, it's not grabbing well, but there we go. Whoa! Yes. Everybody at the same time. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that, ooh! Wow. that was even bigger. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Look at that. So yeah, this one looked like it was worse. Let's tell my family on video I'm not crazy. There's stuff in there that I have to dig out all the time. Okay, so she's not crazy. We won't say her name. She's definitely not crazy. She's the most sane person that's been in here today. In fact, she's the only patient that's been in here today. No, we've had a, a lot of other patients here. And she is not crazy. There is something there. I know even when I looked at it at first, I had, a, like I said, I did a double take because it didn't look like there was much there. But there is. And that's... This is what we see when um, someone does a total nail and they don't, and the chemical doesn't take. And personally, I think part of it is when it bleeds too much during the procedure. Okay, now what we're gonna do is the chemical burn here, okay. If it doesn't, if it doesn't burn, like the acid base kind of, the blood, the um, roots, the Yeah, the roots of it, yeah, but I'm down. I mean, I can feel like, so there's not much between the, it's tissue here and then it's periosteum basically, which is the lining over the bone. This is, there's not a lot here once you get the nail out and I can feel like it, it almost feels like I'm on bone. I'm not on bone, but that's what it almost feels like here because it's so thin here and there was just a little piece here, but I can see it burning right there. Can you, are you able to see inside oh, yeah. of there? Yeah, you can see. See that? In the hole, what's in the hole? There goes the Q-tip. All right, so we're burning it right now. One stick, we gotta do three on each side. All right. Maybe, could you sing? No. So I was telling you guys, yeah. I did a Facebook Live last night for like three hours. Yeah. And towards the end of it, after we had a little bit of wine, yeah. we were doing karaoke. So Facebook actually took really? it down and deleted it because I didn't own the music. Oh my God. Are so they, you kidding? Yeah. Just have this issue. Which was fine. That I don't think that nuts. really needed to be on the internet. All the shenanigans we did last night. But uh, we had, yeah, we've had Alexa turn on in here. We had to mute the whole video because of that too. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Well, it seems like a lot of people are drinking a lot of wine these days, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I Forget think stock I, and toilet paper. You should buy stock and wine. I know. <laughs> we really should. Exactly. Yeah, the toilet paper issues have been an, it's been an issue. But you're right. They're going to run out of wine. Mm -hmm. Because that's how people are coping. And it's not the best way to cope. But I can understand why people are freaking out. I'm drinking a lot right now. We've seen you know people walking around the neighborhood. With, um, actually, a lot of people. It's like party time after 6 o'clock. It's probably before, but I don't I mean, get home until. I mean, it's our usual puzzle. Yeah, no, it is. It was 300 pieces in about 20 minutes. I had to give up. You know I what? guess it's still that long. I hate puzzles. <laughs> I think they're cool when they're done, but that's it. Yeah. So, anyway. There's one there. So, do you want, are you looking for followers on your Instagram page? Mm, I mean, after last night's Facebook video, I might have a few new friends. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say if you want to shout out your Instagram thing, you can, but that's up to you if you want. Well, I do my work one. Oh, I do, okay. Yeah, it's Body by Dr. G. Body so by Dr. G. You two need yeah. to get together. We need to come with, you know, some kind of plastic surgery to fix toenails. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's smart. 
But we can't figure that out yet. We, no. we have other people ask that too. Right now. So did you ever watch the show Botch? No, I don't. I can't seem to watch it because no. I hear about it all the time when people okay. come in for their consults and like, well, I don't want to be like on Botch. I'm like, no, no, no. That's, okay. We actually fix a lot of stuff um, that people have done elsewhere. Okay. It's kind of a good show. People tell me I look like Paul Nassif. Really? I've heard that before. I, I think like when my face was a little bit fatter. His face is a little fatter than mine. He's better looking too. All right, let's do this. Vinegar? Vinegar and water. So you know, you, you've washed it up with the videos, exactly. Vinegar and water. See, look at, that's pretty cool looking when you think about it. I'm gonna get that, there's a little piece of tissue I can in there that I wanna get. See what that is. You know what? It's just an overhanging. See that on the video? I want to supply it. <laughs> All right, one last thing here. We got to be close up of that. Pauline, did you see that product, yeah. product there? It looks and very good. It. I don't know why I'm like fixating on this. Have you ever seen one of these? These are washable. The tourniquets. These are the tourniquet, and I think you. I was going to use it as a ring before. Look at us. <laughs> On my finger. Kind of cool, huh? Does <laughs> this go those, with the jewelry? Those silicone wedding rings that they have. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of goes with the jewelry. But I think the other doctors use this, and that's why I'm probably yeah. that. We were playing with one of those before, and I proposed to one of my medical assistants <laughs> with a tour tourniquet, but... I don't know, whenever I see that thing on there, I think oh, that's the weirdest looking thing. It's kind of cool too, because it's green and it matches my scrubs. Okay. Okay, okay so, so I'm gonna come back on. every 11 days. Until yes. I... We're gonna have you back in uh, just a little less than two weeks. Oh, you know what? It's gotta be two weeks if you wanna come to the office. What if I go to the office on the street? Then you can go to well, South Tampa is where you'd have to go. That's where I'm at the other days of the week. So you'd have to go down to Swan Avenue, where our other office I mean, office I'm free for a couple weeks, so I could probably go anywhere. Yeah, so we can do that. We can just get at that point, and we'll go from there. But let's see here. Let's let's wrap this up and gab a little bit more here. Any any um, special words of advice you want to give to everybody watching? By the way, take a look at the toe. Much better. You see? The up and effort, in fact, has gone away. She's more relaxed right now. The blood's going there. When she walks, it'll come back. So we do not have to worry about that or freak out about that. We're gonna give her a nice blue toe, and that's it. Okay, what's the aftercare instructions? How long do I so, have the blue toe? So the aftercare instructions afterwards, we're gonna take that off tomorrow. Clean it with soap and water. Take soap, um, antibacterial soap, rub it all over there, um, and then um, dry it off. Neosporin and a bandaid on there, okay? okay. No bandaid at night time, okay? Um, we're gonna take a shower. You can just put it right under the shower. Reach down, put some soap on it, rinse it off. You've got little areas right there that where we took the spicules out, mm -hmm. but they will drain. She's going to get drainage from this. And she's going to have drainage for about three weeks because it's a chemical burn. Anytime you do a chemical burn like that, it drains because your tissue is reacting to the chemical. Is it like serous food? So, what is it? It's serous food is what it is, yeah. Okay. It shouldn't bleed a lot, though. Okay. Okay? Um, and then um, when you come in in a couple weeks, I'm going to clean it out and take a look and make sure... It looks good, Check okay? Check that out. Look, you can see all the... So that's it. Look, she's got some... Oh, yeah, look at that. We're look gonna do the sides of this one soon. Actually, we're gonna do the entire nail because um, the two sides, it's too narrow that we're gonna have to take the entire toenail. And she's got the same thing over there. Look at that little funky toe. And that's it. Okay, everybody, stay safe. Hit the subscribe button somewhere, somewhere over here. I don't know where it is on the screen. Hit it, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more great videos soon. Hopefully patients will keep coming in. Hopefully all of you will stay healthy, safe, and happy. Most of all, be happy. You're gonna get through this. It's not gonna last forever, okay? Oh, by the way, if you're watching this Saturday, it's my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday. I'm gonna go skip around the room. I gotta go, bye.